Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football back here at the Texas High School Coaches Association Convention here in the Built with Chocolate Milk Coaches Lounge. The head coach of the Westbrook Bruins, Coach Eric Peavy, our buddy. Coach, how are you doing? Yo, what's up, brother? How are you doing? Living the dream. There you go. Uh, won a few games last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, got to the state championship game. Now, uh, I guess the, the goal now is to get back, right? Get I mean, back. The, the goal is to get back and win it. I think that that should be your goal every year. And, uh, you know, I talked to our kids about that last year is, our goal is to go to the state championship, and I, I misworded it. It should be to win the state championship. Yeah, huh? And, you know, when you tell them that in off offseason, they kind of look at you like, huh? And it's like usually it's win the first game, do this. No, guys, our goal is to win the state championship. And then, you know, but to get there, you got to win the first game. you got to go from there. you got to win every practice. But that's got to be your main goal. Now, uh, after all the success last year, uh, you know, have you noticed more of a buzz around town? I mean, Beaumont's not a small town, but it, mm-hmm. in a lot of ways it still has a small town it feel. Is. Have is. you noticed an a, a extra extra little buzz around town and, and, and in the hallways? I know the extra expectations around town. <laughs> oh, going back to state, Coach, where I got our brooms booked. Uh, no, but so, uh, no, there's extra buzz. Our kids um, our kids understand that uh, there's more people that, that are watching us now, and, and that's a good thing. The community's all together, and, and you know, any time that you're – it doesn't matter big score or small school. When you get a buzz going in the community, it's, it's just a great thing. I, I was amazed. I mean, obviously Longview had an unbelievable crowd oh, yeah. last year. Mm-hmm. But you guys w- that we showed it, up, man. I mean, it was an unbelievable atmosphere. When, when, when you walked out at AT&T Stadium, were you, were you surprised at how much red and blue was in the stands? Well, I mean, I, we all knew Longview was going to have a big crowd. When, when you first walk out, especially being in between games, they have that 30-minute – when you first come out, that 30 minutes where they're clearing out the first level for one group. So when we were warming up, it really wasn't that packed. Okay. Uh, we saw some people kind of waiting coming in. and But when we came out at halftime, that's when it was it was unbelievable. That wow moment. I mean, we walked out, and even our kids, you know, our coaches walked out, and some of them were like, God, did y'all look around? And then the ki- the kids noticed it. Yeah, it was packed. It was awesome. I, I was I was down there with uh, – with, uh, before the game, say hi to you, and yeah. uh, your your drill team and band were, were kind of walking out, and even yeah. then they were they were just like, <laughs> wow, you know. This, I mean, it's a, it's it's this everything about the atmosphere is just it was un- awesome. it's unbelievable, and, and I think UIL does a great job. Uh, with, oh with man, hosting, don't they? Uh, the, the, what they did there at Cowboy Stadium, and, and and what Jerry Jones allows us to do, and have it there, and just but what they what the UIL does, and the way they set it up and take care of you. There was no point. I was really stressed. We have certain things that we want to do before the game. I can imagine you're a little stressed. Yeah, <laughs> as coaches, you're like, okay, I, you know, usually we walk the field at this time. We come through here. We're in our locker room. But I didn't know there was an interstate system underneath Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys it's State. pretty great, yeah. I, you, your bus is pulling underneath. There's roads everywhere. We had a parking lot across from our dressing room underground. That, that's where we kind of dare deal. But they just take care of you. And, uh, you know, the, the UIL does an unbelievable job making sure you have whatever you need. And um, – it, it was just an awesome experience. And let's look ahead to 2019. Yeah, because uh, that's what you know. It's it's, it's time. It, it's the here. season is here. It's here. When, when we look ahead to the to the Bruins, uh, and, and what kind of team? What kind of team are you guys expecting to feel? What's the personality of your ball club going to mm-hmm. be? What what kind of team do you feel like you guys are going to have? Well, something with this group of kids that we have, the group above them, uh, the seniors that just graduated, they always won. I mean, from their freshman year, they're undefeated, and they were always winners. This group of seniors that came in after them, they've always been that group that was told, "Oh, well, you're not going to be as good as that group." But they've always matched it, and um, they've always won. I mean, they won as freshmen. They won on JV. They won. They won district uh, when we were in the Conroe district. Um, they beat the Woodlands JV, which was the first time I think they won lost in like six years because they just got so many kids. It's all juniors. But yeah. um, so this group has always won, and it's kind of set the tone for our lower levels, our younger kids. Our freshman class is very talented. So um, we'll see. We'll find out. All, all right. right. Well, let's have some fun. we got to throw some fun oh, questions okay. at you. Okay. The first one is is about the uh, the glorious locks of hair that you oh, have. Oh, my gosh. Have on your head. I, I am not – I was not blessed. I lost the hair lottery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the uh, coaches give you a hard time about it. Some some coaches who did not, who also lost the hair yeah. lottery. I think Smalley yeah. and yeah. Sloan yeah. are kind of yeah. uh, two guys that, yeah. that give you a hard time. Do, you know, it, how much ribbing do you take on about that daily yeah. uh, on Twitter? Daily, I get hammered. Uh, me and Coach Caduti over at um, Tomball are constantly hammered about the hair. I mean, I'm they're just, just jealous, they're right? They're jealous, man. I, you know, this thing is going to turn complete white before long, but I believe I'll always have it. Yeah, okay, that's okay. the positive. Now, I can't grow any facial hair. Been growing this. I, I've got a lot of Indian in me, a Cherokee. So, I've got basically I've been growing this since I was 12, 
and okay. I have it's no arm hair or, or chest hair or anything like that. But so hey, you know, the jealousy factor of your goatee does come into effect. So I oh, do get I get okay. jealous of hair. Okay, well, th- but those guys are clearly jealous of, of the hair <laughs> on your head. It's, it's pr- I, mean, yeah. I can see it. As, yeah, as it's a guy, just digs constantly. As a guy constantly. who has no hair, I, I can see it. <laughs> and then uh, you know, funny story, folks. Don't know, we, we were hanging out at State Seven on Seven. Yep. Me, yep. you, Max, and Ish. We we were on the golf cart when the uh, Lamar Katie uh, incident. Uh, game, yeah, incident game happened. <laughs> Lamar Katie Gate. They got it right. Now, <laughs> they they did get it, right. get it right. Uh, had, had you, have you ever had that much fun at a seven-on-seven seven game? No, and, I, and I'm really – I just want to let everybody know how composed you were during that situation. <laughs> you had the answer. You had the answer. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, you could have threw your weight around a lot sooner. Well, you didn't. You stayed calm. I was like, hey, man, go tell – just let them know. You, you were egging me on. I was egging you, you on. You, I was trying. You and Max were bad influences. You guys like, were egging hey, me we on. Could, we could fix this whole situation right now. We ended you, up – you know, the funny thing is we're – I, I tried to stay out of it, and, and – the two refs are talking, and one of them goes, Matt Stepp was tweeting the score, you know. And yeah. then I would jump, I was like, yeah, this was the score, guys. And what so, was funny yeah. is, like, one guy would – you could hear him talking, and you're okay, they got it fixed. They got it fixed. And then they walked up, and they would say it wrong. And it was like, no, they kept going back. And I was really proud of you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It was was fun to hang out. We we, we were just just hanging out watching 7 on 7. It was a great game. Both of those going on, South Fair and And, uh, uh, Lake Travis. Lake Travis. That was a great game. And then Lamar and – and uh, Katie, uh, that was those are two great games going on. And you, you got to pull a little rank and sit on the golf cart and get in the shade a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we are. We are the shade is nice, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, the shade's nice. Yes, out there. it was good All right. stuff. All right, Coach. Well, uh, final thing for you, we're gonna uh, have you spin the Dick Sporting Goods wheel of questions. Oh goodness, lots of hard questions on here. So uh, get ready for it and let's see. All answer right, answer truthfully and honestly. Okay. I didn't even get to look at these before. I no, that's, cheat. that's the whole point. All right. All right. Tell us about maybe the most inspirational player that you've ever coached. Even not, not it couldn't might not, might not be a Westbrook. In, in, the most inspirational kid, the kid who just you're just like, wow, that kid has overcome so much or been such just a, a great leader for us. Most inspirational kid that um, I ever coached was just um, we had a young man when I coached at Little Cypress, Mauriceville. Um, was off, I was coaching offense over there. Uh, Hunter Gonzalez was our quarterback. And he just wanted everything. And his attitude, he was so humble about it. Uh, he was the district MVP in um, basketball. He was the district MVP in football. And he was also, I don't know if he was the district MVP in baseball, but I know he was you know, first team outfield or whatever it is. And he did that his sophomore, junior, senior year. He was undersized. Everybody knew he was not going to go get to play college. I mean, he threw an end over end football, but it, he threw it for 3,000 yards. And then he no, go. They went to state 7-on-7 seven seven one year, didn't I was, they? Yeah, that's yeah. it. We played Lake Travis. Yeah. That was before they split. Uh, it was the final 16. We're playing Lake Travis in a four-overtime game to go to the final eight, and that was Hunter. Yeah. And, uh, he, I mean, he couldn't run a five-flat. But on the football field, he would rush for 2,000 yards. But the reason why I, I just – I'll never forget him is the way that he just led. He never bragged about himself in front of other people. He never talked about, well, I'm doing this, y'all should do this. He just gr- – everybody gravitated to him, and he was always congratulating everybody else. And you didn't never had to beg him to do anything or, or you know, just – he was just such a positive influence of he's just a good high school kid. Never came to us to talk to us about college. You know, so many kids, I think today's world, people, kids forget to just play for the fun of the game. Mm-hmm. They're wanting to know, well, if I'm not going to get a D1 scholarship, then I just need to quit. No, play because you like it, man. Yeah. And uh, he, he just was such a good kid. And uh, I always think about him when I see undersized kids that people are like, well, they – he doesn't have a chance. Well, yeah, he does. If there, there, some kids can just play. And I guarantee you this: whatever college you did go to and play intramurals, he dominated. <laughs> There's no <laughs> doubt that's an intramural guy that you want on your team. But he's coaching now. He's coaching at Little Cypress Murraysville, and okay. I see him all the time. And uh, yeah, he's he's a player that I'll never forget coaching. Coach, appreciate your time. We appreciate, appreciate it, what you do for the student athletes in the state of Texas. And I appreciate uh, it, brother. enjoy the rest of coaching school. Thanks for all y'all do, man. Appreciate awesome. It.